Okay guys, so now let's look at the human digestive system. Look at a question on the human digestive system. Okay, this is the question, the diagram and the questions. All right, let's now answer the questions. Now, when you look at the diagram, let's start it first. Okay, before we start answering. We have the esophagus, the stomach there. The stomach and we also have structure V, W and X. When you look at V, that is the pancreas. When you look at W, uh, that is uh, ileum or small intestines. X, that is the anus where ejection takes place. Now, let's look at the question. So, question A. Question A. They are saying, from figure 2.1, select the letter where ejection occurs. So, one, so ejection occurs at X. Okay? At X. Number two, select the letter where pancreatic juice is formed. So, pancreatic juice is formed in the pancreas and the pancreas is V. Okay? Three, number three, they're saying where villi are present. Villi are present in the ileum or small intestines and W is points at small intestines. Okay. Let's go to question B. So question B of this paper saying the stomach produces hydrochloric acid. Yes, this we know. State two functions of this acid in the stomach. Mm, okay. So number one. So you can say it kills. It kills some bacteria. Okay. It kills some bacteria. That comes along with the bolus. Okay. Then number two, you can say it activates. It activates the enzymes. The enzymes and pepsin and renin. Activates the enzymes pepsin and renin. And also sets the acidic acidic pH okay which is optimum remember the word optimum means suitable so optimum pH is the suitable pH at which an enzyme works best optimum temperature is the temperature at which an enzyme works best let's go to the next question which is question C. Okay. So question C is saying, describe the role of the liver in one digestion. So in what? In digestion. So the role of the the role of the liver in digestion is that it produces bile. It produces bile which contains which contains bow salts okay which contains which contains bow salts and they can say bow salts help help in emulsification of fats okay then number two assimilation the role of the liver in assimi assimilation all right 
So the role of the liver in assimilation, you can say the liver converts excess glucose, converts excess glucose, glucose to glycogen. Okay? To glycogen. This glycogen is assimilated, so you can say which is assimilated, which is assimilated by the cells in the liver, okay, by the liver cells for storage, okay, for storage. So now this glycogen is stored in the muscles and also in the liver. The larger quantity is stored in the muscles, then the other one in the in the liver. Okay, that's the role of the liver, and the, they usually ask it such questions. The role of the liver in digestion: it produces bile, which contains bowels, uh, uh, which contains bowel, not bowels. Sorry, which contains bowel, then bowel. Bowel salts help in assimilation of fats. Okay, then assimilation, the re, uh, I mean, not assimilation of emulsification of fats and emulsification. This is the breaking down of large drops of fats into smaller droplets. All right, by an enzyme which is called lipase. Okay, and fats when they are converted, when they are broken down, the digestive end products are glycerol and fatty acids let's go to the next question all right so that's all to this question under digestion thank you so much